Like Rome, Sydney's becoming a city of fountains, and some of them, like the Alamein Fountain at King's Cross, are objects of real beauty. There are fountains in the city's parks and gardens, cool and pleasant, and many of them really picturesque. But of course, every now and then, there's a fountain of controversy, one that leads to hot words as well as cool water. Remember the fuss when the Archibald Fountain was erected in Hyde Park some years before the war? Now there's a new one, outside the new P&O building, which seems likely to be just as controversial. He reckons so anyway. It's certainly an eye-catcher, even if you do have to explore to find where the water comes from. The fountain was featured on the front page of a magazine called Oz, and Oz was taken into court. It was hardly the fountain's fault, though. Even art student types seem a bit perplexed, so how can you blame the average businessman if he just can't work out what sculptor Tom Bass was thinking about when he made the design? Water, A, eh? What a monstrosity! Oh well, if anyone gets too hot under the collar, they can always cool off in a fountain.